My name is William Kane. I'm a master's degree student at Michigan State University. In the fall of 2010, I was given an assignment to explore how different forms of communication can affect the nature and results of collaborative projects in science. My first challenge was to build a freestanding tower using 20 pencils and rubber bands. I was to use synchronous online chats to communicate my designs and results to my teammate in another part of the world. This is really kind of awkward. I have to build the tower with my hands, uh, stretching the rubber bands and putting the pencils in position, and then stop to type to my teammate. I would often complete several steps of construction at a time, but then have to retrace my steps to communicate my progress to my teammate. The construction of the tower requires the use of both hands, so I found the use of synchronous chat for this task to be a hindrance rather than a help. I felt the synchronous chat format often led to miscommunication and long moments of silent puzzling, followed by typing the occasional, did you get that, to confirm instruction. My next challenge was to build a pencil and rubber band catapult capable of throwing a ping pong ball. This time I would be using an asynchronous chat format to trade information, pictures, and video of the project. This would prove crucial because my first design ideas proved unsuccessful. What I was trying to do is try to make a structure that had a little more balance to it than the traditional um, catapult design. This is the final result for my uh, first design idea, and what I've learned so far through this project is you should never get married to your first design. It was time to go back to the drawing board, and I felt I needed a little inspiration. Using Facebook, I began an asynchronous dialogue with my teammate Amanda Jones who exchanged design ideas. This is the launch mechanism for my second design and I have really high hopes for this one. At this point in the project, the ability to share files and photos with my teammate became crucial. Okay, this is my final design for my catapult. What we have here is a little drawstring little rubber band that will release the mechanism like so. It's in the ball flying. So minus that. If I just hold it in place, I can try to I felt the asynchronous chat format ultimately gave me greater freedom to make the little adjustments necessary to fine-tune my designs at a more thoughtful pace. The learning experience of the asynchronous catapult behind me, I look to complete the final phase of my inquiry, a face-to-face -face collaboration involving an egg and gravity. This is my first design idea, and what I'm trying to do is make an air cushion around the egg inside using the balloon and two styrofoam cells. Let's see how this works. Okay, this is egg design one, drop number one. Three, two, one. Uh, it looks intact, but if you can hear inside, it is full of yolk. So my first design idea, no good. 
For me, face-to-face -face interaction has an immediate, emotional, and tactile feeling that online collaboration will never quite match. There's, we know that this does not work. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping you can give me some, some kind of inspiration here. Mm -hmm. By using this, like, use it, like, cutting it open, like, putting parts of it, like, around here. Like, you want to, like, cut it down the middle? Yeah, like, maybe put it where it fits around and then just tape it. Keep the egg inside here. Yeah. My partner and I felt our face-to-face -face collaboration had brought us very close to a solution. This should make kind of a, when it drops, kind of an egg bullet, but it's got the air cushion at the bottom. Because of our different schedules and locations, it was impossible for my lab partner and myself to meet for a third collaborative design session. I then realized how helpful an online chat option can be when scheduling and location make face-to-face -face interaction difficult or impossible. Nevertheless, for better or worse, the challenges were now finished and it was time for me to reflect on the meaning of it all. So, in conclusion, in this inquiry project, I found it was important not only to know the different trends in technology, but also the different variations that different companies are offering. Services like synchronous and asynchronous chat are, take a different form with different companies, so as an educator, it's important for me to understand the differences between platforms. Also, nothing is really going to replace face-to-face -face chat, so as an educator, my recommendation would be to have projects that use synchronous and asynchronous chat that are blended with face-to-face -face interactions between students. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is William Kane. Thank you for watching.